Alright, I'm Wichimotsu in the afternoon, as it were, playing uh, Mitsume ga Toru. If you saw that tile screen, here you are. You're a uh, bald monk with a third eye who can shoot lasers. And you're killing pink troll dolls, it looks like. That's the first thing I'm coming to think of. Anyway, uh, yeah, you collect some money, which will be kind of crucial. Albeit not so crucial that you uh, want to collect every bit of it, but you might want to collect every little bit of the money you get. I wouldn't say this is a bad game, but it's a game that you really have to have an instruction manual for correctly, because you know you'll, you won't be able to find some of this shit out unless like completely by accident. Which trust me, the first time I was doing a playthrough of this, I had no idea you could uh, charge. You could just hold down the fire button and fire off this thing. But there's more to this than just you know an energy spear thingy that kills the enemies. Nope. As it turns out, well you'll see. You'll see. It's it pissed me off. To no end. But it's okay. But I don't know why. What the fuck these are? Are these puppies? Are these some mutated animal trying to rape me? Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, this is probably where you get a good deal of money. You kill all these damn things and you let them rape you up the ass. Whatever they're doing. They're just hopping around. Wee! I want to have sex with you. Wee! Of course, the controls are a little. Eh, they're average. Not perfect, but they're not. Ow. Yeah, sometimes you just cannot fucking move. You'll just be standing there. You'll, t you'll tell the goddamn bald monk to go left or right and you won't do it. But it's okay. It's not horrible. Ah, these fucking spiders. They're tedious. Not hard to kill, they're just tedious to kill. But look, those keep bouncing up and down. And the problem is, you can only fire three of these things at once. Which means the turbo controller would really help, I imagine. Yeah, you, you see these little projectiles that spires come uh, shooting out, they'll be a little key for the boss battle. That was weird. Watch. But look at them, they're like... X bandages in an X shape, so I have no idea how they're killing me. Hurting like that man. Of course, when he gets hurt, it's like he goes out my head every time. All right, going into a cave, I guess. And look behind you. This person, I think she's. It's supposed to be a chick, but kind of looks a little androgynous to me. Yeah, unfortunately, this is all in Japanese. So. But yeah, the obvious stuff. Like this is hell. Obvious as a one up, and I don't know what the hell these power ups do exactly. I'm guessing they power up your shots or something, and in some cases, your energy spear thingy. But yeah, don't even try to get the fucking one up unless you really have a ass load of money to spend. And you wonder how the hell you get up there, because it looks like his jump doesn't allow him to get up there. Well, of course, his jump doesn't, but that doesn't matter. It's a little trick that this game has included that is not self explanatory. I don't tell you this shit. Anyway, say like you can use this as a whatever. You can use this in a certain situation to be used. But no. Just make a guess. It's coming up. We're only about we're about halfway done, but we're still got some time. Yeah, this is a relatively long this is my longest video, it's only a minute shy of ten minutes, so. Yeah, but look. You're wondering what am I doing? Well look, I missed it, but you know you use this fucking thing as a platform. The hard part is just timing your jump, so you get on it. But look, yeah, it's a platform. I found that out completely by accident. I was about to freaking pull my hair out. And initially, I was thinking maybe you use these guys as a platform, these totem pole assholes. But no, you have to use your damn spear. These guys are cheap, too. Just randomly shoot off those little X bandages in patterns that are almost unpredictable, so pointless. Ah, and they hit me anyway. It didn't help that I was playing this at about 1 in the morning to get this footage, but yeah. If anything, that just tells me that I should uh, wait until maybe the afternoon, maybe the evening at the latest, to do this shit. But not, you know, 1 in the fucking morning. It's terrible. I was doing the Kiwi Craze video when I was about midnight, so... Part of it's a natural aptitude for this stuff, but also it's just, well, it's not like the, I'm completely foreign to this game. I played it, but I never got this far before. These water things that try to push you off or kill you. 
<laughs> you didn't hit me. Stupid total ball. That's right. Die. Alright. Hey. Oh, fuck. Yeah. When he dies, it's weird. He gets like this X across his face. And unfortunately, I die, which means I just start at the beginning of this section of the stage. But you see the little bird thing there in the screen? Well, you, I think you'll see it actually be in action when. Yep, watch. You don't instantly die from pitfalls unless your health is like near death. Because this nice bird will save you. A la uh, Demon Sword, which uh, Armic 21 did a, a review of. But I just noticed that. I was like, wow, it's just like Demon Sword. La -da -da, I'm the hog, and I'm gonna save your fucking ass because you fell into a pit. But at least this works with every pit, not like certain pits. Does this work? Oh, jeez. That was kind of scary. Never mind, sorry. I fill out that Kiwi craze music in my head. Here's this bitch with her store again, which I'm barely. I can't even. I can buy health. I have no idea what the 200 thing is for, but I'm guessing it might be useful if I say run out of energy for my spear, which there doesn't seem to be an indicator for energy for my spear, but. Uh, it's silly for a while. Yeah, I can't buy any of this stuff. Uh, yet. But luckily, yeah, I don't really need it. Well, it would probably help for this damn boss. This boss will frustrate the crap out of you. Die! Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. You keep thinking you're dead, but luckily, this nice phoenix, or whatever the fuck he is, keeps saving you. Of course, the guy doesn't look very happy that he got saved. He's like, fuck you. This part really probably pissed the crap out of me the most. It's not the statue. I'm not fighting the statue. I'm fighting this guy in a pink uh, three-piece suit who uh, jumps around and eventually he'll throw a dart at you. So the key is to get him hit by those things and then shoot the crap out of him. He throws that dart. Yeah, the key is to get him to kind of go towards you and then get hit by these because I'm guessing he's similar to you. I have no idea if this was based on like an anime or a manga or something, but it looks like it might have been. Yar! Oh, but yeah, you both get hit by this stuff. So. Uh, uh, shit! Eh, uh, dead. Yeah. It sucks. Badly, actually. But don't worry. I'm not going to... I really strive to give you guys no plays where I don't just get a complete fucking game over, which is why I don't always go with my first take. I try to get you past the first stage to show you shit. Show you how it works. How bosses work. Like in the case of Kiwi Craze, it's painfully easy. In the case of uh, this one, it'll piss you off. It'll make you fucking rip your hair out at times. If you don't figure out that this guy is gonna get hit by the bandages from that three-eyed statue, Covers his head like ouch, and you keep shooting him. I only have one. Yeah, I mean, if I, I was lucky enough to not die. Oh Jesus Christ! Ah, he's turning into fire and he bursts into flames. Little balls of fire. Anyway, and you get ass load of money. You get like, yeah, you get two thousand dollars, gold, whatever. This is kind of cool. Whoa, you think it's fucking up? No, it's not. It's just going to this. Beating up the guy in the pink suit. Yeah. This was fun. I have to say, this is a decent game as well. I'm trying to not get any shitty games, which is why I didn't do Gilligan's Island. Hope you enjoyed this no-play, and see you later.